guys, Robert here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's great to have you. And today, I'll be talking about the story of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And it comes from Daniel 3, verses 16 to 18. So, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego replied, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the fiery furnace and God whom we serve is able to save us, he will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the golden statue that you have set up. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were in a very interesting time. And there would have been many guys like, like these. But when it came to following God, they were, they were dedicated to the Lord to do the right thing. And because they stood up, which would have been very hard, because it was a life and death situation, obviously. They weren't sure if they were going to die or not. But they said, even if we die, we still don't want to do the wrong thing. We want to do the right thing by God. And God came through, rescued them amazingly, and basically changed the direction of the whole land. As the story goes on in Daniel, it's worth reading. And it leads me back to a time when, you know, what about our smaller levels? You know, the ones that are easy decisions, they're a little bit grey. Like, I remember a time that I went to a bank and I was, we were short of money and, and we were desperate and everything like that. But I went to the bank to withdraw $100. And when I got to the bank, the teller gave me an extra 100 So I had $200. And I thought, wow, you know? And guessing... How do you take that? Is that a blessing from the Lord or what? Anyway, I got to the car and I'm going home. I've got some friends and they, and I said, you know, I just don't feel good. I don't, I don't feel right. I've got to check in my spirit that there's something not right here and I should give the money back. And they go, no, you don't need to give the money back. You need the money. It's a blessing from God. It's, you know, God will want you to have it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got it. And all that stuff, you know, it sounds so good and... But there was still a check on my spirit. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go back. And I went back to the bank. And it was just on closing time. They were ready to shut. And I banged on the door. And the lady came to the front door and opened it. And she said, um, yes, well, um, do you have a problem? And I said, look, I was in here probably about an hour ago. And I took out a hundred dollars or an extra um, and the teller extra accidentally gave me an extra hundred dollars and she looked with a mouth dropped and she's like like amazed and she looked over to the where the lady that served me and she was crying and she said it just so happens that this lady it was her first day on the job and she wanted her job and she was just in the middle of firing her because they didn't know where that hundred dollars had gone. And she just said that you have just saved this lady's job. I tell you what, that was amazing for me to be able to do that, to do a good deed like that, to do something that's right before God. It's, it's worth more than money. You know, and the blessings that come from doing the right thing, from standing up when it's impossible odds sometimes, it has a great reward. As Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, you can read the story. It's incredible. And they're people like us. So I just thank you, Lord, that when we come to the challenge to do the right thing and not follow the world, but to follow you, Lord, that we will take it. I know that there's a blessing behind it for doing the right thing. So I just thank you, Father. Anyway, I hope this blesses you. Thank you for joining me. For any, anything that you would like to comment, 
are very welcome. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and see you on the next one. Bye.